Okay, this is with the tank on it. This is the best I can do, as heavy as this is going to be. It's on the 4x4x12s, four by four by just with the stacks of a 4 of 8 by 8 by 8 cinder blocks until I can uh, finish the bottom portion and then put the jacks on it and then I'll finish it up from there but I will still use the blocks piping the uh, gray tank will come to about right here as it's marked like I said that is liquid nails corrugated staples and screws This is uh, left out, the centerpiece. It's going to be a 2x4 between the uh, sleeper and the actual refrigerator. Washer and dryer will go right in here somewhere. It's going to be 24 to 30. 27 is what I figured by the measurements online. And then the sink is another 20. Stove another 17 to 20. All of this in inches, obviously. Pantry. 12 inch pantry if I decide to put it here and then I'll give me a 30 by 30 shower with the toilet on top here propane tanks up around here somewhere obviously the wall will be one solid piece on the rear and again steps will be right here in case you're just watching this this is blue or this color to uh, help with water penetration it's stained it's been stained for a few months so uh, I decided to go ahead and use that one. Also we use another one upon the front portion. It is from this type of stain. It's an exterior or an outdoor stain. And uh, those have been here for about eight months and I've been checking those and no problems with those. So I decided to use those on the bottom portions just where the water could possibly penetrate from the back from it dripping off the top or the front from it going between the cab and the camper and setting in the bed. Again, that's the door, the lip for the uh, wall to sit on the back portion of the back structure. This, it'll all be cleaned up and it will be trimmed all the way around. Two by six in the center, that's my midpoint for my tank. So in measurement, my water tank will be that big and about seven inches tall, about 48 inches wide, 45 inches wide, I'm sorry. For strength on the back portion, since I decided to do the side side door, I ran a two by six with a two by two by four liter of all all up under the front. I'll do also the side wall the same way, and then it'll take more stress. It actually seems to be pretty strong. I can move it around by myself, and uh, there's no issues with it. Two by six on the front, right here. Also corrugated staples, liquid nails. All of this is just sprayed or tacked in. I will put another half inch layer on it. And then I will also coat that or place something down between the water tank and that. In case some of you didn't know, as you uh, gradually, the water tank will settle. And if you have foam rising above that, it will actually put creases in your water tank because the foam is uh, going to give out faster than the wood. So whatever shape those might be in that case, it would uh, actually drop it and I don't want that all back in the back this tank will be just a tad bit higher about 13 inches at most off the ground but there's no framing on the inside yet like I said I can move it around myself so it's probably a couple hundred pounds and we'll have steps underneath two of them maybe three I'm gonna have two two eight inch uh, steps one here one here and then coming up to the floor the reason being I'll just frame around that and the actual floor will probably be about eight inches high maybe ten and above the water tank I'll put storage on top of the uh, tank if I can get away with it but hope you like it so far again there's the patch from the uh, fiberglass all the seams also same reason I fiberglassed it 2x4, 2x6, also corrugated staples, 5 in one, 4 in the other. Took me two days as it sits. Two full days 
and my trailer is cleaned off but this is a 32 gallon black tank it will again have a uh, 32 gallon gray or 52 gallon gray beg your pardon and it will then be a 55 gallon sorry it's getting cool out here it will be a 55 gallon fresh water tank and hope you like it so far that's all my uh, other scrap wood that I'm using pieces uh, one other hint that I did I don't know if I haven't seen anybody else in any videos that I've seen that uh, when you tr did your bottom uh, plates I didn't see anybody that cut the top and the bottom at the same time I, I did that so they're literally they're, they're identical so once I finished with this uh, subfloor in the tanks so all the floors are already cut just to drop in and then I'll start framing on top of that which will actually be this wall and then the side walls which will meet up to that again uh, it did only take me two days to get this far from scratch everything done Thanks.